what's up you guys welcome back to my channel this week I'm going to be going over on how you can make animated icons I'm going to um, use the same icon as I did before this is kind of like a follow-up video to how you can also make that same icon as I did before into an animated one I'm going to go ahead and open up um, my Inkscape. I already have my icon here waiting for me. The one that I had previously created. If you're following along, uh, go ahead and make sure you have yours up as well. I'm going to be using the same model as I did before and I'm going to go ahead and sharpen her up before I even get started because I have no intention of uh, rescaling her at all since it's an uh, since this icon is going to be animated, it's going to be covering all the bases of the hair to make sure that the person who sees the icon is able to see the full hairstyle, um, you know, itself. And we're going to be doing this like frame by frame, so when you're like making this, make sure, you know, that you had like one, two, three, four, five to make sure that you keep up with the exact order that you want the camera to pan to, you know. I'm going to be starting like left to right. I prefer, you know, I prefer animating the way that, you know, the same direction that people read. It's just, you know, it's just kind of satisfying to the eye, I guess. Um, everybody's different. Everybody kind of does their own thing, but that's just what I do personally. Um, so I'm going to start uh, my next frame here. I'm putting a two at the end of there, and I'm going to scoot this over just a little, just a hair, a few hairs actually. Um, you want to make sure that uh, on the very other side of this hairstyle like meets the edge of it to make sure that I get the whole thing panned through and I'm going to go down just a little bit to make sure I get the bangs in there too. Um, when you, uh, the cool thing about uh, this program as long as you have your DPI set to 96 you can kind of have as many frames as you want. For some reason, the gigabytes for, um, um, I guess, for any icons that are created in this kind of uh, resolution usually comes out fairly small. I've actually found that I'm able to add up to at least uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 frames. It really just depends upon how much how much stuff you got going on. For this icon, for example, I could probably get away with like 13, 14 frames if I really wanted to, but uh, I don't, so <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with this. This seems like the right amount because um, you can make your, you know, you can make your panning as smooth as you want. Uh, the more frames you have, the smoother it's going to look. Um, this is going to look a little, a little chalky, a little know chopped up a little bit but uh, that's okay considering that most animated icons look a little um, like that I guess I'm pretty sure what word you'd use for that I'm so tired um, so after you already have all your stuff like in here under the layers as I'm showing you here make sure you hit uh, export and when you export make sure you have uh, dot GIF at the end of it and when you go to export it this will come up make sure you have as animation and loop forever on um, also you're going to want to change up your milliseconds you're going to want to kind of experiment with that because uh, the, millis uh, the milliseconds are going to vary depending upon how many frames you have I'm going to go in here and submit it and this looks all right this would have looked hellaciously better if I would have deleted that blur right there off because for some reason GIMP 2 is not good at exporting blurry animations I'm not sure what is up with that I am pretty positive that there are other expensive programs they can use that can bypass that and make that look wonders but uh, if you're like me and you're on a budget just avoid blurs at all costs all kinds you know all blurs just try to avoid them if you can I understand in some cases you can't but in most cases I would strongly suggest avoiding them. but anyway this is how you create an animated icon I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I really hope to see you guys in the future um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here because 
I'm ranting. I'm like so tired. This is like the fourth time I've recorded this video because everything keeps going wrong. And I'm just exhausted at this point. Um, I thank you guys so much for listening to my bullshit. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And I swear I won't be bitching nearly as much. Um, until then guys, have an awesome week. Thank you.